Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, episode number 101. And hopefully we'll get through this whole one without, you know, I don't know, breaking down and having to do a little tag on the end, because that's no fun. In case you don't know, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Um, I do have the terrorist who is just now hoppering, hopping down from the table. She's getting ready to go bug her mom. Melina is on the couch. We are in the fake studio. This is fake. On location. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, we're going to get through a whole other one of these uh, great shows. I'm going to tell you straight away today that uh, I mowed the yard this weekend, Sunday. I mowed the yard. It's been a little while since I mowed the yard. And if you don't know East Tennessee at this time of year, it is pollen season. So my nose is running like insane today. So if you see me grab, I have the tissues. They're here. If you see me grab the tissues, it's because my head has been a faucet. So let me tell you, pollen in Tennessee at this time of year and coronavirus, not a good combo. I sneezed my full head off this morning. I'm just glad I wasn't at Kroger's because... Everybody would have been looking around at me like, hey, man, you got the Rona. (laughs) Guys, I've got some business to jump into just a little bit before we get on to the rest of the show. We've got a pretty good show, pretty good lineup of knives today. But first and foremost, last Tuesday... When we were on air, we gave away a Schrade Old Timer Mountain Lion. It was a fixed blade. It was a pretty little upswept fixed blade. Timbo Peters... Timbo Peters won that. Uh, we announced that to Timbo this morning. Uh, I don't know. Has Tim gotten back in touch with us yet? Uh, I haven't seen it come in yet. Well, Timbo Peters, uh, congratulations. You won that Schrade Old Timer Mountain Lion. Uh, that is all yours, and it, we will get it on to you uh, as soon as possible. Things are a little bit delayed the way we normally are uh, because we are working from home. You know, it is just Melina, me, and the cat <laughs> in the studio doing our thing. I want to point out, too, that we still have over 600 core and exclusive items on sale at smkw.com right this very minute. Go over to the website. Click the main banner, guys. Click the main banner, and you're going to see over 600 items that are both core and exclusive that are at amazing prices. I'm talking everything from Kershaw to Case to artisan if you ever wanted one of those artisan exclusive uh, uh, copper brass or bronze handle knives that we've done over the last year get them right now because that price is i mean they're fantastic i you, you would not believe the prices that are here mini shark at thirty dollars and ten cents a hyperion copper at 39.99 that's insanity considering those started off at 60 bucks those are that's really really good. Twenty dollars off on that thing. Buck se se is there. A whole lot of stuff. Just go check it out. There's over six hundred items in there right now, and we're gonna keep doing that as long as we need to. Uh, six hundred core and exclusive items on sale at the website right now. I do want to touch on the fact that we will are and are rescheduled. We are scheduled to reopen the retail showroom on May fourth. That is a Monday. That is Monday after next. So if you have uh, some plans to get up our way and wanted to come to the store, as of right now, and as far as I know, we are scheduled to reopen on Monday, May 4th. Hopefully that will happen and we'll get things back in the swing uh, swing of things and get the store open and keep our safe distance inside, do all the things we need to do, and you know, let people enjoy the knife mecca of the world called Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It is Uh, If you have never been to our store, it is a place you need to go and plan on going to in your lifetime. 108,000 square feet of retail showroom space filled with knives to begin with. Beyond that, you've got apparel, you've got uh, uh, just outdoor equipment, you have Smoky Mountain guns and ammo, which is right there in the store, ammunition... Everything you can think of. And then if you look up and you start looking around, there are museum quality mounts on the walls everywhere. I mean, there's a full, what is that? It's a full moose that stands outside the e office, right? Yes. 
<laughs> she's not listening to me at all. She's she's reading your stuff. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but she is reading your stuff intently and not watching me. But there's literally a full-size moose standing outside of her office. So go up there, check out all of that stuff that's there uh, when we reopen on May the 4th. Of course, our website is completely open right now, smkw.com. We are shipping out knives every single day. Remember this about the shipping. Uh, we are having to put some measures in place in our warehouse that keep people a little further apart than they normally would, right? So we're trying to keep our employees safe, our families safe, and get your orders out at the same time. So it goes a little bit slower than it would any other time. Uh, we're still saying to you, just add an extra three days to your shipping. <clears throat> add a th- up, uh, add three days to your shipping, and you'll probably get it by then. So don't panic if you don't have it right away. Uh, it is one of those things that things are just moving slower, whether that's in-house where we're trying to keep separate from each other or whether that's just the carriers that are overloaded right now or trying to get through and get done. Okay? Question. Stephen Michael Kane liked your whiteboard on carbon steel. Nice. Stephen Michael <laughs> Kane. My name is is Stephen Michael Kane. <laughs> Every time I think of Michael Kane, I think of dirty rotten scoundrels. And it just it makes me laugh. Why exactly is the cork on the fork? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, guys. We've been putting a lot of effort into the whiteboards that are out there. If you have an idea for a whiteboard uh, uh, video, if you've not seen these, go over to YouTube, go over to our Facebook page. We're doing educational whiteboard videos where we're telling you something like, uh, what is the anatomy of a modern folder? What is in a slip joint? Uh, what? How do I care for carbon steel? If you have an idea for one of these, and Tobias, I did get your idea. It was really good. It's going to take some pretty intense work and some research to make it happen so i haven't made it happen yet but tobias i did get that at our social smkw at gmail.com email address and i am looking into doing it it's just it's one of those things that's going to take just a little bit more um in case you guys don't know i'm drawing all the things on the inside and that's not my hand doing it that's part of a program but i'm literally having to draw all the things that are in there first and then teach a system how to draw it for the software so those are out there Go enjoy those. If you have an idea, send us a message on Facebook. Send us a DM on Instagram. Do what you need to do. Get us that information, and we'll try to do your whiteboard. Any other questions, comments, concerns, thoughts? Uh, no. No. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to jump into the show today, and we're going to get through this, and hopefully my nose will not drip out onto the thing and, or the cat won't attack me in the middle of the show. Let me tell you this, too, by the way, while I'm getting the rest of this stuff ready over here. If you sneak in the middle of the night and you get a Reese's peanut butter <laughs> egg, well, actually, you get a couple, maybe a few, a couple, two, three, uh, and you for, you don't realize that you got three instead of two, and you eat two, and you wake up in the morning, <laughs> you might find a Reese's peanut butter egg that is nice and squishy where it's been laying under you. I'm just saying. Just saying. I mean, it could happen. It's hypothetical. It wouldn't ever have happened to me this morning when I woke up. Anyhow, let's jump into this. Of course, we're not doing the same show we've done in the past where we get through the, the, the different subjects that are out there. What we're trying to do is uh, give you items that you could get in your cart and get immediately and just enjoy while you're stuck in the house. So we're going to get through these. There are five items today, and we're going to lead off with my first item, which is an Essie. And it's an unusual Essie in that it is a Zancudo. It is a folding knife. From Essie. This is an Essie Zancudo. I'm going to do it again because I did it really fast. It is a thumb stud opener and the action is incredible. Um, I'm actually, I was actually shocked by how nice this action was on that. I'm barely having to get my thumb going. Uh, it's a frame lock knife. Um, it's just a nice, you know, medium sized everyday carry that I think you could use for just about anything. But this is a fun little knife from Essie. This is the Zancudo. And let me show you this knife up close, and I'll tell you about it right here on the screen. Okay, it has a 3-inch OS 8 drop point blade with a stonewash finish. This bad boy is a 16th of an inch thick. It's a thumb stud opener, so it has dual or ambidextrous thumb studs right there. It's a nice open frame construction on this particular knife. The uh, knife itself has green uh, GRN, I'm sorry, green GFN, a front handle scale, so it's nice and grippy. 
You guys can see that right there. The back handle scale is stainless steel, so it's going to clean up nice. It is a frame lock. We are being attacked by the cat as we speak. It is a frame lock, and that uh, uh, pocket clip is reversible, but not ambidextrous. So it will go tip up, tip down the way you want it. It is has a nice little lanyard hole right here in the back end. That's uh, essential for these uh, type SE knives. And let me just say, this thing closes down to four inches. Let me show you closed. It closes down to four inches. Yes, yes, kitty. That's how it looks closed. And then it opens up to seven inches overall. So it is seven inches. Kitty, what are you doing? It is seven inches overall and weighs 3.3 ounces. Now, here's the thing. This knife normally is $29.99 at smkw.com. Right now, it's part of that core sale. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and it is $26.95. $26.95 for this SE Zancudo. What do you guys think of this? Does it come with a no questions asked warranty? It does. Now? It does not? I don't think it does. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it does because it's a it's yeah, okay. Okay, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that one does not. Okay. Well That's it's something we can it. ask if, if if you guys know Shane Adams, jump on him and ask him. I don't know if it does or not. We shall see. I was just impressed by the action on it. I mean it just it's it's um it's easy. It's easy. Is it US USA made? It is not. I don't know the country of origin. I believe it's Taiwan. The same it, I think it, I think it is Taiwan. Same as like the expat knives? Yeah. Yep. It is not USA made. I believe that is a Taiwan made knife. <laughs> Casey's son just yelled Corona when you coughed. Uh, of course. Got the Rona. <laughs> Don't make me sing the Josh Belay Jimmy Slash song. Because I will. Twenty six ninety five on the SE Zancudo. I'm going to show you a knife now that I, you have seen before uh, in different various states. Uh, I'm going to show you this one because I just couldn't believe the price when I saw it. And, and I know how many of you have purchased this knife. It's the uh, Mini Proponent. It's our exclusive Mini Proponent. It is Artisan Cutlery Mini Proponent uh, designed by Dirk Pinkerton. We started off these things at fifty nine ninety nine when they came out. And right now in that core sale, they are $39.99. This is a great knife. Let me tell you, before I show you up close and tell you all the details about it. First of all, it is a flipper or a thumb stud opener. Both work just fine. I knew I was going to do that. Both open just fine. I'm, I'm digging on the thumb stud because I'm making it work like that. Um, they are ceramic ball bearings. So these knives just move. And, and this is just a funky, different chunk of of a knife it has the d2 blade and that d2 blade is how long is that d2 blade did i even put it on here it's on my big sheet but it's not on my little sheet right here i think it's like a two inch three inch it's a three inch d2 warncliffe blade with a stonewash finish um it's 0.15 inches thick look at how thick that thing is guys that is nice. It has the ambidextrous thumb studs right there. It does have a flipper opening, ceramic ball bearings, solid brass handles, absolutely solid brass handles on both sides. And then those are on top of steel liners, and that is a liner lock right there. It does have the ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip, so you can put that on either side just fine. And um, what else was it? Oh, it has the lanyard hole as well. But what it does have and what it does come with, and I always forget to show this, this is a lock pin. Let me get that up close so you can see it. That is a lock pin right there. What you do with this lock pin, you guys see that hole that's right there? If I put this in and I screw it in into that space, there it is, in. It is now basically a fixed blade knife. Instead of just a liner lock, I have a pin that goes all the way through this knife and it locks up good and solid. Okay, and that that uh, that lock pin just travels with you. Comes with every single one of the knives that are there. Here's the thing: this thing started off at fifty nine ninety nine. Again, it is now only thirty nine ninety nine, and it is a great fidget spinner. Boom! Listen to that noise, man. Listen to that lock up. Boom! Boom! Nice right there. Let me see if I've got some paper. Let's see if this thing cuts. Ah, oh, that's so nice. 
I don't know. Maybe this blade is just perfectly right for me. Nice. Wow. Dang. Hello, boys and girls. I'm cutting paper. <laughs> the cat, as soon as those come off, she's like, what is going on? That right there is the Artisan Mini Proponent in brass. I believe we have it have we have had it in copper and uh, bronze. I don't know if it's still available in copper and bronze, but just go go to the core sale look and and scan that down to Artisan. Is there a storage hole for the lock pin? Is there a storage hole for what? The, the lock pin on that proponent. What do you mean a storage so hole? Where to store the pin? You could tie it into your lanyard hole. Um, there's a lanyard hole here at the back, and you could tie it into that. You could also tie it into your uh, pocket clip right there. Okay. Let's see. What's up next? Oh, I, the next knife that's up, I don't know who requested it, but we actually had a request to show this one on the show. And then when uh, Melina told me what was requested, <laughs> I know exactly why it was requested. It's just because they want me to say it. This is a wee knife. It is a gnar it's G-N-A-R, and I know that you guys just wanted to hear me say Wienar. That's that's really what I what you wanted to hear. This is a premium knife from we, the Wee Knife Company called the NAR, G-N-A-R. I love the thumb stud action on this thing, too. It is just a beautiful, beautiful knife. That feels so good. I mean, it's $227, so it better feel good in the hand. Uh, let me hit the specs on it so you know what's here and you can see it. Are they laughing at the Wienar? No, I am. Oh, <laughs> nice. Maybe it, was she, maybe it was her that just requested it. Okay, this is, it has a 2.78 CPM S35VN modified clip point blade. Uh, it, it's a really pretty blade. It has a uh, black coating, a black, what they're calling a black stone wash, but to me that looks a little more matte. I don't know if you guys can see that. To me, that looks like some kind of epoxy coating. Uh, I'm going to go with what they say, though. That is a black stonewash finish. It is 0.13 inches thick. It does have ambidextrous thumb studs, and that's how this little bad boy opens with, uh, I believe, ceramic ball bearings. Yes, 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 ceramic ball bearings. The handles on this thing, they are... Um, I've, lost my, I've lost my place. Here we go. These are titanium. These are titanium handles. I know that looks a little bit like G10. It is not. That is titanium handles. It is a frame lock. And you can see that right there. It has a nice over travel. It has a nice, uh, nice reinforcement in it. Titanium pocket clip that is only one position but removable if you wanted it to go away. It closes down to 4.1 inches. This is what this looks like closed. Really pretty. Sleek and pretty. And then it opens up to 7.8 seven inches overall. I'm sorry, 4.1 inches closed, 6.88 inches overall. So just a little bit under seven inches. Apparently I'm having trouble reading today. It's the Rona that's taken over me. <laughs> um, this thing weighs 3.76 ounces altogether. It is made by Wii. Um, it's just a really nice knife at 227. Is the Wii sharp? The Wii Nar. Yes, my Wii Nar <laughs> is sharp. Look at that. Good lord. Look at that, guys. That is... I'm going to guess that's pretty close to shaving sharp right out of the box. It better be, right? At 227, it better be. I'm just saying. 220, I don't know about you guys or what, what price point you have to start making a decision. I know that maybe we're not all in the same spot and some of it's different from some of the other. When we cross that line of 100 bucks, that's when I start thinking, hmm. Do I really need that? And a lot of times I say yes. Yes, I do. Question? Comment? Stephen Michael K. said left-handed. Left-handed? <laughs> Let's. <say> no. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. You did one. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm so going to cut myself. I can't get a good. I need a better piece of paper. <laughs> I'm going to cheat with a doubled up piece of paper. Let's see if I can still do it left-handed. Okay. No, I cannot. Good Lord. You just have to... There we go. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> left-handed. Not. I'm not left-handed. Andy keep pointing his wiener at the camera. There's my wiener straight on to camera. <laughs> That's the wiener, guys. That is a premium knife from the Wee Knife Company. Um, it is $227 at smkw.com. And as, a, as you know, that ship's absolutely free. It does, it does. Absolutely free. Also, it qualifies for sezzle. Just say it. So instead of uh, $227 right away, you're talking about what? Just a little over $50 over six weeks 50 and four installments over uh six weeks maybe you can manage that who knows i like that knife though that is very 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 nice that's the we nar number 917b from we um coming up next we got a we've got a um tony bow's pattern from case it is a saddle horn i wanted to show you this knife in particular because um it it to me it is like if you married a bow trapper and a and a trapper and it got a fat belly and got a little bit pregnant down there. It's just I mean it is what it is. And the funny thing is like a trapper is four and an eighth. This is three point five inches closed. Um, this is the molasses saw cut jig boned saddle horn, and that's because Case tries to jam every knife, uh, every name in the whole world into one knife. Case molasses saw cut jigged bone saddle horn with a twist. The handles, <laughs> the handles themselves, they are uh, actual genuine bone, and they have like a molasses color to them. I don't know if you can see that really, really well. And then they've got a saw cut face. So like this portion in the middle is almost flat, and it has a saw cut face. I think this is a really pretty. I'm not always the happiest person in the whole world with the handle materials and the different things that Case does. This one to me is very, very pretty. Brass pins in that. Um, nickel silver bolsters on there. Uh, nickel silver case. I believe that's the traditional shield in the oval. Um, and then you have the two blades are true sharp. And those are actually different than you would have find on like a. Um, on a traditional trapper, this kind of pattern, there is a clip point, a big clip point, and then there is a Skinner blade. You can see that upswept blade right there? It's actually kind of pretty. Um, I think it's nice. Let me open this thing up. Um, here's what it looks like open. It gives you a, a, a saddle horn, kind of looks like a saddle horn. You guys see it? That kind of looks like a saddle horn right there. And then it gives you a nice thing to grip on in the palm of your hand so that wraps right around there it gives you a nice grip um, this saddle horn uh, the molasses saw cut jig bone saddle horn this one in particular is 67.99 it is one of what is there like four or five of these on the site at least there are, there are bunches these are made in the usa six it's loading. there are 50 437 Eight different patterns in this molasses saw cut jig bone series. This is just one of them. I do that every time with Case. Come on, Case. You hurt me, baby. You hurt me. Wow, that's bad. Mari, Gum Fuddy Ford, I'm talking to you. Hone these bad boys. Run them over a strop a couple of times. I mean, I'm not that bad at cutting. I'm really not. Goodness gracious. Uh, $67.99 uh, on this case molasses saw cut jig bone. Perfect after running across a straw. Okay, here we go. Uh, last but not least, do any questions? Anything we've got so far that I have not touched no, on? No, but they are enjoying the wiener. The wiener. Yeah, Everybody right. enjoys a good wiener. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a dog of a joke. <laughs> uh, what's the steal on that? What is the steel on what? That uh, uh, case. On the case, it's True Sharp. Yeah. Yeah. True Sharp Surgical Steel, a.k.a. Mystery Steel, a.k.a. We're not sure. Probably somewhere around a 440C and a 440A, if I had to guess, just flat out. And that was also a Tony Bowes pattern? Yes, it is. And I mentioned that straight away. It is a Tony Bowes pattern, and it has half stops in it. So. Yeah. Uh, if you find, if you find a pattern at, in the case <laughs> counter or from a case knife and it has half stops, just probably count on it being Tony Bowes. Just saying, just saying. It usually is. The last but not least knife that I have is a knife that I've shown before. I brought it back on in hopes that I could get you to buy them up straight away. 
it's the Kershaw Launch 10. And uh, my hopes were welcome to this morning as we completely sold out of these. And I showed it, I showed it this automatic because it's $89.96 regularly and it's in part of that core sale at $64.88. This is the gray version. It sold out this morning before we got this show started. The bronze version with the black blade is still available. Do you know what the price tag is on that one? Is it the same at um, sixty-four eighty-eight? Uh, Kershaw ten bronze. It's I launched. It. Launch ten bronze. It is super snappy. Boom. Super. It's, uh, Seventy bucks. Six sixty-nine. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a little bit more, but sixty nine eighty eight on the SMKW exclusive version. This is the gray version of that knife. They are identical except for the colors on them uh, and a blade coating that's there. It's a 1.9 inch CPM 154 modern hawk bill blade with a stone wash finish, one eighth of an inch thick. Um, it is a push button auto out the side. It means it lock, unlocks and opens based on that. It is not a dual action auto, so it does not close automatically, but it certainly does open really, really quickly with that. It's T6 anodized aluminum handles on our other SMKW exclusive version. It's bronze, uh, and on this one, it's gray. It does have the ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip, so you can put that on each side. There is that American flag right there on the back of that Kershaw. It's 3.27 inches closed. Let me show you what this looks like closed. This is what it looks like closed. It is then uh, 5.2 inches open. It is California legal. So you can have this auto in California just fine. It's one of the few that we can send you. I think it's just a really snappy, snazzy little design. And those are made in the USA by Kershaw. I think the bronze, again, she said was 69, 68, something, something like that. And this one was 64.88. When this one goes back in stock, it'll probably be that same price. But... They're all sold out at this point. Questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? No. No? Nothing? What's the most, Im what, what was the most impressive knife we've looked at today? I know, I know, I know. That's fine. Are, are we lagging that far behind? Yeah. You're still showing, on, on my screen right now, you're still showing the, the launch chain. Nice. So. That's fine. <laughs> it it's fine. I'll take this time to say this. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the world's largest knife store. We are not kidding when we say that. We've been in business for over 40 years. Family-owned business. We're based in Sevierville, Tennessee. We have the giant retail showroom right there. Uh, we've been in the catalog business. I mean, people... It is amazing when we sit down with some of the best-known designers in the world and they talk about having ordered from our catalog. So you have people like Ken Onion tell us, last year at Blade Show, he sits down and he tells us that not only did he get our catalog, he would order a bunch of the uh, budget-friendly knives in order to sell to everybody at the plant so he could buy the really good knife that he wanted from us. And he would do that on a regular basis. I know that several of the other people that sat down uh, knew about our catalog. We still produce that catalog. It still goes out on a monthly basis. Um, we should have one hitting homes in the next couple weeks. So... Uh, be out there and look at that. If you want to sign up for one of those, go to the website, go to the very top of the page, and sign up right there. I'll also tell you that if you have not signed up for the email newsletter, you really need to. And you need to do that because we are sending out at this time one email every day, all of those low prices. I, you know, I've had people say, boy, I wish you would not put so many of the pictures or things in sale that I had to go through and figure out what they were. If you get the email, you're going to see specific items at specific prices every single day. So just, you know, you'll, you'll know you can make that decision right there for yourself because we've made it for you and stuck it in the email. Um, guys, smkw.com right now has 28,000 products on it. Everything from Sharper Things t-shirts to, what, survival equipment, crazy stuff, fun stuff, all kinds of stuff. Knives, swords, fantasy daggers, survival gear, ammunition, everything you can possibly think of that is fun outdoors or in at smkw.com. Uh, free shipping at $75. Uh, if your order is under 12 ounces, if your order is over 12 ounces, it's $2.99. Right, two ninety nine. If you hit a ninety nine dollar threshold, it's free. 
completely free unless it goes bing, bang, boom, pop, or it just doesn't qualify somehow for um, the box size for USPS. So if it is oversized, if it doesn't qualify, you can't get that. Uh, we have to ship it a different way, and so that might cost you a little bit extra. For, but for the main most part, this stuff is free, guys. Free. They want to know, take a stab, just look at, take a stab at it. How many knives do you think we have in stock? How many knives do you think we have? I mean, just like total numbers? Yeah. just random guess it. Wow, I have no idea. It would have to be in the hundreds of thousands. It would have to be in the hundreds of thousands. I mean, it would literally have to be in the hundreds of thousands. Um, the warehouse itself, and Melina got to go there for the first time in, in since she's been up here. I get lost every time. And she gets lost every time she goes. But the warehouse, think of if you've ever seen on television like one of those Amazon picking packing stations that they show like at Christmas time. Oh, they're busy and they're pulling orders and all that. So one whole end of the warehouse is like that. If you go to around the corner and you go to the storage and receiving end of the warehouse, then you are literally talking about um, Sam's. Like a Sam's. It's like the shelves all the way to the ceiling. It is like a Sam's Club or a Costco. Uh, and, and that's where all of the product is stored. And then they get disseminated out to the picking area so that your orders can be picked. All our orders are uh, hand-pulled, packed, and picked, and checked before they go out the door to you. Uh, it's just, it blew my mind when I, 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, when I started working here, it blew my mind that that many people liked knives. That we were sending at that time upward of a million catalogs a month. It blew my mind that that was a thing. Uh, but I don't doubt it at all anymore. There are a lot of you out there. I became one of you over the last 20 years, and it's been fantastic. Um, John Smith. Wait, wait, what was John? Yeah, John Smith from Ohio wants to know why we can't send automatic knives to Ohio even though they're legal to own. So... You know, you need to go on your knife rights and those, and those pages and really look up the details. But mo one of the biggest things that stops us from shipping to a state is your state law. And the state law says we cannot sell into your state. It's just that simple. It's saying that a from the state of Tennessee, we could not, even though you can carry it and it's legal for you to have it, and it's legal for you to go down the street and buy it from somebody inside of Ohio, it is still illegal for us to ship it from Tennessee through Kentucky to Ohio. Can't do it, right? So that that's normally the way those play out. We just cannot sell to your state. It happens a lot. What else? Um, Jared Hall would love to see a show with all high-end pieces, with your abalones and mokutais and whatnot. Mokutai. I love to say that word. I said, um, I said it right. So high end, yeah, you did. As uh, as as good as we're gonna say it, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I, we've done some high end shows before. Uh, right now, I'm trying to keep it into an area where we have some high end and some low end and some budget friendly stuff and some sales stuff. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get back to a time where we do a show where holy cow, we would what we put that new bench made proper on at a thousand dollars for a folding knife. Crazy town. Uh, what else? Kitty, you've been very good. I appreciate you. She is directly behind my laptop right here. And the, the knives they like best from this show so far, all they've said, has been the proponent, the Zincudo, and the case. Nice. Nice, nice, uh, nice. David Sloan would like to see some ProTech in the future. Oh, I love ProTech. I will tell you straight away, I love ProTech. The, the problem that I get into when we have ProTech is just literally how few we have, not not across have the board. We have all of them, but we have like two or three. And I try to make sure that when we put something on a show, uh, we have enough to sell you more than two. I don't want it to come onto a show and it just be gone instantly. But we can do that. I mean, I, I, I love ProTech. I think they have some of the best uh, automatic action out there. And the sleekness of most of their designs are, is awesome. Beyond that, they're doing some really wild, cool stuff with their different blade setups and handle setups. I love ProTech. I, so don't get me wrong. It's not, it's not we're not against it. Not that we don't have it. It's that it mainly shells, mainly sales mainly sells out of the showroom 
and uh, onesies, twosies, right? So they just go out the door. So I, I kind of avoid putting that kind of thing on the show because I want you to have an opportunity to have them. What else? Um, Mikey Rust might be coming in to Smokey in August. Nice. Tell him to let it snow when he gets there. Awesome. So, yeah, let us know when you get there, and we'll do that thing. Uh, speaking of August, Blade Show, August 7th through the 9th now, has moved from June to uh, August. And so if you want to go to Blade Show in Atlanta, it is happening August 7th through 9th. We are still the title, title sponsor, and we still have lots of very cool things lined up for that particular show. <coughs> Excuse me. In fact, we are trying to um, get to a point now where we get our hotels booked <laughs> again because we had to cancel the other ones. So, anyhow... Uh, been on that this morning. That's been a fun train. What should we give away? What should we give away? I, I'm leaning towards the thing that I love to give away every single time. The, the artisan? Yes. Do it. Yeah. So we're going to give away the mini proponent. Give away the mini proponent. This is the brass mini proponent from Artisan. Um, we've given a couple of these away before. It's just a pretty pretty knife now what do you have to do to get entered what are we going to do for that what what should that be do you know uh no idea no idea uh, so what you want to do is put your bank account number your <laughs> social security number and your mother's maiden name <laughs> kidding i'm kidding um Ah, let's see. Let's just do a hashtag and kind of blow it out there. Let's just do a hashtag, hashtag SMKW Army. Hashtag SMKW Army. That will be what you need to reply with, and um, that will get you entered for this contest. Hashtag SMKW Army. Uh, we'll give away this. I'll tell you next Tuesday who won the mini, uh, the artisan mini proponent designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Got that fun little thumb stud boop boop fun stuff right there anyhow we're brought to you by smoky mountain knifeworks smkw.com this has been an episode of guys talk knives i'm andy that's my name i sit here in my living room and i talk to you guys twice a week sometimes three times a week and i talk to you online all the time uh, we are the world's largest knife store follow us on facebook follow us on instagram follow us on twitter if you must just do it there. Make sure you have subscribed to us on YouTube, guys. We are growing that. I was shocked to see how much that had grown in the last month. But we're going to continue to grow that. We'll continue to do things like the whiteboard videos and that kind of stuff. So jump on and do that. Of course we have a question when I'm doing the wrap. No. They love your whiteboard stuff. Nice. We're going to keep doing it. you got to tell me stuff to do, though, because I, I, I have to just come up with them. Uh, so thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, just give me more ideas because it's it's you know and it needs to just be educational. I can't do I can't do what is the difference between uh, the case blankety blank and the case blankety blank. It needs to be things that are generalized that we can do. Uh, please don't let it be sharpening because I don't know anything about sharpening. I'm bad at it, very bad at it. We're gonna wrap this up and get out of here. Thank you, Kitty, for being good. She is right there. She has been very good. Um, make sure you're doing all the things you need to do and get entered into the contest that we have. Stay safe out there. Uh, be strong. We're going to get through this. Reopen on May 4th. This has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. I will catch you on Thursday. See you guys. <laughs>